Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Legacy Nuts Podcast. My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I am the daughter mother. Mother grandmother. I'm coming to you from Vermont. Connecticut. And um, welcome to anybody that is joining us again. Thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with us. And for any new viewers, um, welcome. This is a podcast about knitting, crocheting, yarn dyeing, rug hooking, cross stitching, embroidery, making of all sorts, um, as well as just uh, lifestyle stories. We end up chatting a lot about life because we live far away. So, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, like I haven't seen you in forever. I know, and it's only been like, what, two weeks? Three weeks? Really? Probably two. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. So third try, we've been having, well, we are not having technical difficulties this morning. If we do, it's over. Like, it's over. The podcast is ending. <laughs> now. Um, but we've had several opportunity or tries, and they didn't work. Yeah. And we've learned, I think we have learned, like, if we sit down and it's not working, walk away. It's too frustrating. It eats up too much of our very valuable time that we don't have enough of. So, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, Justin has gotten two pay raises. He's yep. up to $10 twice a year <laughs> he is our um he's gotten a promotion which he keeps bragging to bragging oh, about oh. to the, the rest of the family he's now yeah. our chief technology officer <laughs> he's so cute about it i know <laughs> he's really good at it he's really good at it and we had it down and you and i sat down and we were ready to do it the other day and oh that was not a good experience no but let's talk about this because we keep saying it mercury is in retrograde people Whatever that means, I, I kept telling that to dad, and he was like, I don't even know what that means. It's like, it just means that nothing works. Yeah, I should have looked it up, but it is a thing. Oh, it's a thing, and it's crazy, but again, we we tried for about a half hour, and then we said, we have way too much, like, things that need to get done for the business, we cannot give up. So we're here today, who knows? Fingers crossed it works, I would love to have a podcast up, so... Yeah, a lot has been going on. We've d- done a lot. Uh-huh. I've stitched a ton. I know. I can't wait to see. You know, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Ooh. I can't remember. It's all right. Well, it's good because you'll carry the podcast because I literally have two projects that I've been working on, and that's it. It's okay. Uh, let's talk about the biggest, biggest, biggest event that has happened. You need to get, like, frame of reference. Are we talking knitting world, or are we talking life world? Oh, Lily started walking. I will say, she's not walking around the house. Like, it's not like that yet. Like, it's not like she's wandering from room to room and all of that. But she can walk, which is a relief. Oh, here we go. (laughs) Here we go. What is it? Oh. I little head cold, so this make me dizzy. <laughs> it's really not 13 o'clock. I'm just picturing you ending this and then going, Ugh. <laughs> It could happen so easily right about now. So easily. What? Really? We've got to be on like 18. That was ridiculous. Um, okay. So Lily's walking. Lily's walking. We're trying to like slowly every day start to increase her distances that she's walking. And really, we find she walks. She's more motivated to walk like late afternoon into the evening. In the morning, I have a hard time. Like this morning, we did a little bit of practicing and um, she really wasn't into it all that much. She's not a slow waker. I feel like that is a thing with her in the morning. She's not chatty in the morning. Let's face it. She is an introvert for sure. Mm -hmm. She's not chatty in the morning. I mean, she's happy and she's like involved, but she's not super chatty. No, I mean, sometimes, but more often than not, she kind of just like a lot of time I have her um, high chair right here and I'll put her down when we come down and she can like see out to like the sun and the trees and the snow and she really gets really mesmerized by looking outside in the morning as I'm making her breakfast. So I do feel like she has kind of a slow morning wake up routine. 
I think she does. I love when I get up in the morning and we open the blinds and I go, good morning, world. And she like, <laughs> so cute. Yeah. yeah, she loves this. So, so she's walking and she's become quite a launderess. Yes, she is a launderer. Launderess, I think that's actually a better term. I don't know if that's a word. I don't know, but we'll make that. I love it. Yeah, Ben and Kristen were over this weekend on Saturday, and they brought some laundry with them. And I was like, you have no idea how excited Lily is going to be to be able to partake in your laundering. Yeah. And sure enough, Ben actually posted a video. I'm sure you saw it last night. It was so cute. Yeah, on Instagram. I wasn't sure if his profile was private or not, so I didn't mention it in my Instagram. But I'll have to ask him, because if so, I can, like, link so you guys can go see it. But hysterical yeah so before when we first started doing the laundry she would just kind of like stand there and like bounce and point at it and smile now she's to the point where she looks at you and she laughs every couple of seconds she goes (laughs) (laughs) she we were dying we were dying when he posted that it's like because she's just so filled with joy over laundry 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 it's part of her another part of her morning routine once we're done with breakfast put her down, you know, buy some toys or I let her walk over to her teepee. Mm-hmm. But then sure enough, like after a half an hour, she finds her way over to the door, which is <laughs> right here where the washing okay. machine is. And she points at it and she looks at me. She points at it. She looks at me. Sometimes I say like, we don't have any laundry today. Cause we really don't accumulate very much laundry. Like I don't wear a lot of clothes cause I never leave the house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if I say that it's really not good. Her emotions get the better of her, and we have a little bit of... I think it's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's life news. Yeah, that's life. That's Lily news. Lily news. We did our... We vented at the Muscle Yarn Retreat, which was lovely. I don't think we've podcasted since then. No. No. Uh, It was wonderful. Oh, my gosh. It was so lovely meeting everyone and really spending time with people. We went over on Friday night and had dinner and knit for a couple hours, which... We have never done that. No, we've never had the opportunity to... I, I shouldn't say that. We have plenty of opportunities. We could go to retreats if we wanted to. Oh, but, right. Um, but typically when we're working an event, we don't also get the opportunity to enjoy it as well. So, yeah. Yes. And it was so laid back, and it was 30-some people. It was so wonderful. It was so wonderful. And it was so fun working with the people there that were trying to make fades or picking out other color work sweaters. And, oh, my gosh, it was so much fun. It was a blast. It was It was so... I really hope they do it again. The girls of Must Love Yarn, we got to give it up to them because they... I just, like, for it being their first retreat that they have ever hosted, it looked from flawless. the outside like it went seamlessly. Yep, flawless. Yeah. Um, everybody that we were working with during the marketplace couldn't say enough nice things about the event. Like, they were gushing over it. So, ladies, if you're watching this, do another one. Like, we would love for you to do another one, even if we don't work the marketplace. Like, we would love to just <laughs> hey, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I know. Um, so, we should say it's um, Kelly. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm totally Jen. Kelly, Ange, and Jen. Yeah. And I can't go to Abigail, which is her daughter. <laughs> Yeah, and um, oh my gosh, it was so fun. We actually sat on Friday night and knit with the three ladies, and Saturday morning we were like, we probably should have all split up. I know. <laughs> like we all were like so engrossed in conversation, although people came and went, and we chatted with other people, but thank you, thank you, thank you for inviting us, and what a treat it was to participate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was so nice to like thank- put faces to names, and... Um, I don't know. It was so being the person that interacts via email a lot, I see a lot of the same names over and over again. So like Jane was one that I couldn't believe she was standing in line and we were chatting and all of a sudden I looked down at her name tag and I'm like, Oh my god. Yeah. You're yeah. Jane. <laughs> like, I was I like, know. And we had some of my Periscope followers were on uh, were there. Sorry, I have a cold. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Tissues everywhere. <laughs> everywhere um but yeah it, it was great and we uh, 
We didn't buy a lot, but we bought a few things. I, oh, I don't have any of that with me. I have one. I have our crochet thing. I should get mine, too. I'll get it when the time comes. Yeah, it's um, gorgeous. We should also say we got to hang out with our friend Jen Marco, who we <sighs> who we interact with a lot throughout the year, but very rarely do we get to actually see her face-to-face, and every time we do, we're like, oh. I know, and we really got to spend a lot of time with her, and oh my gosh. Yep. It's heavenly. It's heavenly. We are so lucky. I always say this. We have the best customers and the best followers. And friends. Like, a lot of them I do consider friends. Friends. Like, I agree. You know, like, I do I see agree. It, it's like, I don't know. It's just so nice. It is. Yeah. So, yeah, that was really fun. We had a a blast doing that. And now it's kind of the focus has shifted to Needles Up Maryland, which is coming up on May 3rd, the eve of Maryland Sheep and Wool. So that's crazy. And before that, I was just going to say, yes, in my garage right now is a gigantic box for Paige the Framer for the New Jersey Wool Walk, which I am going to be going down, unless something unforeseen happens. The plan is I will be there on Saturday. I plan on getting there early and staying probably till, I would say, three-ish would be my goal to head out, because it's about a three-hour drive, a little over three hours. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll head back, but oh my gosh, what is going? Oh my gosh, there's, I don't even know what's in there. There's so much. There's a special colorway just for Paige. Uh, all I will tell you, it is called Sea Urchin. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Really, really pretty. I really I don't it. want to show it because I haven't asked Paige. We, I'm sure she, I think last year we did, and you'll probably put pictures on Instagram around it as it gets closer, uh, which I say that it's so close. It's so close. And also, did you take any pictures of it? Yes. You did? Okay. I did. I remembered. <laughs> My heart just stopped a little bit, and I was like, shoot. No, I did. I remember. I think I took one, just one with three of them. Yeah, which is but cool. um, that comes before Needles Up, although now that the box is gone, I feel like I can just focus on Needles Up, mm-hmm. um, which, holy cow, how does it come so fast? I don't know. I don't know, but it does. I think it's going to be so much fun, though. I, I, I wish I were going, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe next year, maybe I'll just go. It's it's a super fun event. I loved it last year, and people were so happy that this event was there, and they were so excited about it, and it was wonderful. And I am always, I am always at this point. I always feel like I feel right now, like oh my god, what did I do to myself? And then I get going, and the the display starts coming together and I feel better about it and it's going to be a blast Mm -hmm. it's going to be a blast all of our vendors are going to be there which we're so excited about um plus Paige is going to be there with her knitting mats I'm pretty sure and some mats and some frames and mats Mm -hmm. and it's going to be terrific. I should also say, um, I've been talking with Chelsea of Super Super Miniatures. Oh. Um, I haven't even told you this yet. She said she was going to try and make Maryland happen. She wasn't sure because when I reached out to her, it's still kind of a short turnaround time. So that's still up in the air. But she said she definitely wants to attend Rhinebeck. Oh, I didn't know that. Totally Yay. Did. Oh, that is so exciting. That is good news. I know. It's great news. That is such good news because yes. we love, oh my God, I love her stitch. I love her stitch markers. Mm-hmm. I'm not aware of a lot of stitch marker people out there, mm-hmm. but I, like I'm looking at the one from Maryland last year is the, um, I think it's a lobster roll. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Her stuff is gorgeous. Yeah. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so yeah. It'll be a fun event. So that's happening. It's- it's going to be a great event. Like, I'm, I always, I want to get to the point of being so excited, and I know it comes, that's the thing, but it's like, oh, I want to be there right now. It's all the, we've talked about this, it's all the decision making about what you're going to bring. Mm-hmm. Which, actually, you know what we should do? In the comments below, if you are planning on attending Needles Up Maryland or Needles Up Rhinebeck or any of our events, if you wanted to throw down there like something, if you were going to an event and you knew we were going to be there, that you would be looking for or that you would look forward to 
buying, whether it be kits, whether it be a certain colorway, whether it be a certain base. Perfect. Um, yeah, we'd love to hear back from you. And I've been meaning to do that for a while, even on Instagram, but I figure since we're here in front of everybody. That is a great idea because it is, it, there's something about those decisions being made. Once they're made, I just put my head down to work. It's no big deal. It's figuring that piece out. Well, because we want to bring things that people want. want. And, I, and I also want to always have like a new series or like, and, and the romance collection is what will be featured at um, at Maryland so if you haven't had the opportunity I will be bringing lots of it there mm -hmm. and we do have new colorways this week coming out for the romance I love our romance collection yeah it's beautiful well and I, it, will, it will also be featured at the wool walk as well for anybody that is doing that yes it's tons of the romance collection is going there but not the new colors because they weren't done yet right 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 but the original romance collection the original the original six I think mm -hmm. So exciting. Yeah, so we have a lot coming up, and we're super excited about it. But we do want to get um, back to, you know, being able to have stuff in the shop for you guys to be excited about. So, again, same thing. If you are looking for something specific, throw it down in the comments, and we will do our best to accommodate. Yes, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, so should we talk? Let's talk about the cal at the end. Let's start showing some okay. knitting. If that's yeah, let's start some knitting. Okay. Do you I'm want to go the best for last? What are you? <laughs> You're supposed to be able to read my mind. I right know. This point. But I feel like You're you have like, so many projects right now. There are. I know. The one I started for you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, save that one for last. Yeah, um, I'll save that one for last. But why don't you go first? Because I literally have two things. So and I have three. So, and then I have. We are going to have a stitching, um, a, a stitching section because. I'm obsessed. Yeah. But it's it's so good because that, you've always said that is your first love. That's your first, like, thing that you... And you've just found your way back and you're... I did. And I'm obsessed. And the killer is, like, it is so hard to decide what you're going to do. Because if you're going to knit or you're going to stitch, you need to devote time. In order to get things done, it's not like I'll sit and stitch for 10 minutes. Like, I'm not that kind of knitter or stitcher. Like... I need hours. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I need hours. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm trying to stay very focused when I am working on something because everything I'm working on, knitting and stitching, I want done. I want done. Mm -hmm. But I'll start with the first one because this has to be done. I am just flying by the seat of my pants right now like the I so this weekend I had the most beautiful shower in the whole wide world and I gave the granny square blanket so I don't have that to show but I sent you photos and you can insert them here oh my gosh it was so cute Colleen was like I know what this is and I'm so excited oh because <laughs> so I pulled, I think I posted it on Instagram and it she would of course know it's for her right just warmed my heart. She loved it. So we can put that picture up. That was a finished object. Definitely. But my point is, I finished that a couple days before the shower. And now I have another shower, a baby shower for our your cousin and my niece, Caitlin, which is so exciting, on Sunday. Nice. And, I mean, I always buy her. We always split, like, a big gift. Between Grandma and Aunt Nancy and I, but then I, oh, you know me, like, how can I not knit a baby something? So, Tin Can Knits, the Antler Cardigan, my favorite. We do not know boy or girl. She does not want to know. I love that because you know how I was with that. I'm so sorry for the paleness. Yeah, same. Uh, okay, so I believe it's Malabrigo Rios. Oh my gosh, the colorway is so stunningly beautiful. I really struggled <laughs> trying to come up with a colorway. To eat. I didn't dye this, obviously. It's Malabrigo, but to pick a colorway mm -hmm. because not knowing boy or girl. And I did lilies out of something very similar to this. It wasn't the same. It wasn't? I think hers was a little lighter. Oh, color-wise. Color-wise, yeah, same yarn. But look at the beautiful, like, subtle, oh, my gosh. So this is the main body. And I already made the two little sleeves. Uh-oh, dropping everything. 
to <gasps> Little Sleeves. So and so, yeah, so obviously i got to get to work on this. And what I'm going to do is pick out, I wish I could find them. On yours, I did the flowers that were pink and brown. And then on Frankie's, I did blue, no, there was blue and brown, I think, on, like, trucks or something. Okay. So I'm going to get both sets of buttons, put it in, and then once she has the baby, I'll put the buttons on. Oh. I'm not sure I'm going to make the hat or not. Hmm. Just because time of year, I don't know. What it is, depends. Is it May that she's due? She's due in May. I feel like this will be a fall sweater. Yeah. It, I don't think, because this sweater comes out kind of big. Yeah, like, like Lily didn't fit into hers. Now, having said that, Frankie probably never fit into his. I know. It's so gigantic, that beautiful baby. I know, he's huge. Oh, my God. So, anyways, this is what I have been working on. I'm going to try to, while we podcast, get the six inches in, and then I add this, and then it flies. Need button bands, though. I know. I'm not a button band girl, but it's a beautiful sweater. Tin can knits the antler sweater, and I am using... Oh, let's talk about what I'm using. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I... Look at me. I have been so good. I replace... Uh-oh. Which ones are these? Oh, this is... Uh-oh. What's <laughs> are missing? Darn it. Are you not using them for a project? Darn it. You're always bragging that I was doing so good. Well, you are doing good, though. If only one is unaccounted for, that means it has to be there somewhere. It's a size six. It is here somewhere. Anyways, oh my gosh. From Muscle Yarn, Knitter's Pride, Zing's interchangeables i'm keeping them in these cases i am trying it is can i tell you what hard work it is for me mm -hmm. it's so hard mm -hmm. my brain is not made for organizational skills mm -hmm. i totally get it i love these it, then the cases uh, are so nice, and they're very affordable, too, if I remember correctly. Oh, my gosh. I think they're free. Not yeah. really, but that's what I say when something is so affordable for what you're getting. Right. I, I love them. You know what, though? I'm, I was disappointed. They started size four. What were you thinking, size three? Two and three. Oh, like, for what I'm making you, I needed a three. Oh, oh bummer. And a two. So help me remember the next time I'm up, I'm going to get them. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Love it. Size eights. Uh, oh, you know what? I do believe the sixes are in here. You think like they aren't a part of a project right now? I thought they were. No, they're not in here either. Yeah. <laughs> they're somewhere. They're somewhere. Okay, that's that. I love what it. You work. Yeah, I feel like we're so choppy again. <laughs> It's all right. We'll make it work. What are you working on? I'm trying to decide which one I want to tackle first. I don't know what the other one is. Um, my no friends. Oh, show that one first. Let's do that one first because the other one is going to be listed. I know it's so beautiful. It's in my fat squirrel speaks bag. <laughs> I love that bag. Me too. I think especially this time of year, like when I'm just itching for spring and we keep getting these little teasers of like, hey, it's warm and sunny. Hey, guess what? It's back to 15 degrees. Yeah, it's 20 here. Yeah, freezing. So I love the bag for that reason because it just makes makes my heart smile a little bit. Yes, and Amy Beth will be one of our vendors. Yes, she will. I can't wait to see Oh, my God, I love that. So last night, Kristen sent me a picture of hers. She was here knitting with me on uh, Saturday, and I got to see it in person. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Yeah. Maybe. I'm hoping everyone comes to run back with us this year. That would be so fun. I know. I mentioned this to Jacob, too. I and maybe she'll help us at Needles Up and wear her beautiful sweater. That would be so fun. So fun. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we will definitely have to try and make that happen. Um <laughs> Beautiful. So, thank you. This is my No Frills sweater by Petite Knit. I am knitting it out of Legacy Fiber Arts yarn. Um, our... <laughs> Deep 
two. Yep, T for two colorway. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Thank you, as well as our vanilla bean mohair. Um, so pretty. Thank you. I am loving it. So I'm on the ribbing, <clears throat> the bottom ribbing of the body, which you can see. <gasps> You're going to be done. I am. What size so, needles are you using? Um, well, right now the ribbing is in fives. Um, and the body I did in sevens, which is not what the pattern called for. It's just what I did to get the fabric that I wanted. Um, thank you. So, oh, geez, the piece of hair stuck to it. So, um, first thing, I'm using my little Hedwig progress keeper. I don't know if you can see. <sighs> Love it. Is it focusing on him or no? Yes, it it's is. beautiful. Um, and then I'm also using another one of the Needles Up Super Super Miniature Progress Keepers. I have one of those here somewhere. I think it's yours. Really? Oh, right. Why well, have mine right here? That's yours. Can you me borrow one of these? Not that one, because I have the same exact one right here. Oh, okay. I did the same one. How fun. That is so funny. Um, <clears throat> so, I knit this. I want to say I knit a s small or a medium. I can't remember, but you can go to my project page, which I'll link in the show notes below for all of those details. Um, for any new viewers, I had quite a kerfluffle with this project because I skeined my MCN base and my mohair together. So that was a learning curve for anybody that is thinking about doing that. Don't do it. I just well, then did you see Anne shit it? I was just going to say. somebody was like, didn't you watch Chelsea and Sue? They said not to do it. She was like, I already did it. <laughs> yeah, Karen said that because she tagged me in the comment. And I was like, no, Anne. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so for anybody considering doing that, uh, don't. I mean, listen, I made it work because I didn't want to deal with the hassle of undoing it. And I made it work. And it wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't the worst knit in the world. Um, but anyway, don't do it. So, it makes so much sense that it should work. I know, but it doesn't. Because, I think because of the different fibers and the different, um, stretchability. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so people have been asking, cause I did, I tried this on and I posted a picture on Instagram to show kind of how it was fitting. Um, and a lot of people asked, did you alternate skeins because it is so even? Yes, I did. And you should Always, always, always alternate skeins with indie dyed yarn, in my opinion. I so don't want it on yours. <laughs> well, then don't. If, uh, I mean, if well, we'll talk about, about that when we get to it. Totally. I just I just feel like whenever we're talking to somebody who's going to purchase our yarn. Yes, I totally agree. Because you want always them to be happy. One more time. Because you want them to be happy. Yes, because you want to ensure that they're going to get a garment that they are, they're not regretful about. Like... <clears throat> I don't know. I just knew because there's so much knitting involved in this sweater that I didn't want to risk it. I agree. So Are you still alternating for the rib? I'm not. So I, 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 I never do for that. Yeah. So this is what I have left of one of the balls. And I just, I cut off the other one as I started the ribbing because I didn't think it mattered all that much. No, not for ribbing. And I won't alternate for the sleeves either because I'll be able to get both sleeves out of this skein. Yes. So yeah, that's my sweater. It's, wonderful it's very um mindless although you do have to be mindful about getting that uh, strand of mohair in as you're knitting because i had that happen a couple times and i had to you know ladder it up and so that can be a pain but and sometimes you could just take a crochet hook and go pull it through to the back yep depending on if you saw one and it was really bothering you it was way back yeah you could, you could find ways around it, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's the one thing that you really have to be mindful about, but once you get past the raglan increases and you get those sleeve stitches off, it's around and around and around, which, as many of you know, that is my favorite way of knitting. And that's it. That's, that's Honestly, this is what I've been working on this weekend, and just because I really like... I also really like Knit One Pearl One for some reason. I find there's a really like therapeutic rhythm to it for me. Yeah. Well, plus you're so close. So close. It's and I, such a pretty sweater. Mm -hmm. I feel like my goal is to get this off the needles. My um, comfort fade cardi off the needles. And then finally, I need to go back to my turtle dove and just finish it already. Yes, because you're gonna, that means you're going to have three brand new sweaters for next year. Yep. Yep. I've made a lot of sweaters this year. You did. 
I did. I have two that are done uh-huh. and two that are almost done. Uh-huh. That's kind of decent for not compared to some people, but Buffy mm-hmm. Talk Socks by Tracy of the Groceria Girls. Not really the Groceria, but that's what I like to call them. Um, it was funny. Aunt Jo, I was texting her, and I was like, I'm at the Groceria. And she was like, wow, you're so, like, fancy, or, like, you're, are you Italian? Because then I was like, perfecto, because <laughs> those are all my words. And I explained to her, like, I hate going to the grocery store so much that when I say groceria, it feels, um, it feels like it's special. More exciting, yeah. Yeah, and it's more exciting. So I walk in, I'm like, I'm at the groceria. Anyways, Coffee Talk Socks with the Unicorn Hugs by you. Mm-hmm. I do true. believe we've got a bunch still in the shop of I the kits. With just the vanilla bean, which I love. I love. I love this pattern. It is such an easy. I still wanted it on a sock blocker. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we'll. Is it beautiful? Be- yeah. There we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think what I'm going to do, I I think it's almost long enough. And instead of just going to, and it might even say this on the pattern. I never, once I have all the numbers down, I never look at the pattern again. Because mm-hmm. I know how to just finish it without looking. Um, I want to do a little bit of a, like, one stripe of white, then mm-hmm. unicorn horns, and then maybe two, like kind of fade it in. Mm-hmm. I think it would look prettier. I think it'd be gorgeous, yeah. So I'm in love with this, in love with this, and it worked up so fast. Mm-hmm. Next, I want to start her Galliano because I think I'm going to make a sock kit out of one of our new colors and do I the Galliano. Love that pattern. Yeah. So I, yeah. I have to see if I think it'll look good with different heels, toes, and cuffs. I can't remember, like, mm-hmm. the pattern enough to know that. But anyways, <gasps> I love it. Gorgeous. And I feel like Tracy just designs the most beautiful socks. I wish she I had does. sock knitting mojo because I would love to cast on a pair of her socks. I am just still entirely in sweater knitting mode. You know, it's funny because we were both talking about this. I think it was last week. Mm-hmm. Um, like, we both are kind of in a funk. Mm-hmm. Like, just a funk with knitting. Like, I can't get motivated. And I'm just so sorry. I'm going to turn that down. Um, I, I just kind of blah. Like, I can't. I just can't get motivated. Mm-hmm. This sock helped me get out of it. So maybe I do need I feel like I need something. I feel like it would help you. Mm-hmm. Even just a sock. But this sock really, really helped me. Because it was interesting, but I didn't need a pattern once I got the thing. It's so easy. It's so memorizable. Nice. Um, so, yeah, this helped me a lot. And now that I've started the next project that I'll show once you show, um, I'm kind of full force back in. And now struggling because I want to stitch and I want to knit at the same time. That's got to be hard. See, I don't have that. I feel like whenever, like, sorry, Lily's crying. Um, whenever I want to embroider, like, I'm kind of just sick of knitting. But I totally get where you're coming from, where you want to do both. That's got to be really hard. I want to do both. And I like, I do like having both because like right now because I haven't stitched in quite a few days my hands want a stitching motion Mm -hmm. like I I crave that pulling the 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 needle through the fabric I I crave that magical picture appearing Mm -hmm. and usually I can do that for a day or two and then I crave the knitting needles Mm -hmm. so it's quite interesting Mm -hmm. because it's so different the two couldn't be more different right right so yeah, that's my next project. I love it. Well, what are you working on next? All right. Well, my only other project that I'm working on is my comfort fade cardi. <sighs> it was such a pleasurable knit up until I got to the shawl collar. I know. And it's so funny. I just don't think I'm a good enough or attentive enough knitter to knit a lot of Andrea Mowry's patterns because she's very specific in her um design elements mm-hmm. there's no leeway for if you're like yeah i just want to mm-hmm. i miss that part but it still looks good <laughs> right exactly like for example for this collar if it were any other sweater that i have knit 
it would have been, okay, this is, so say it's like 200 stitch, you're going to want to cast on 200 stitches, and then you're going to do a knit one, purl one rib. It doesn't need to be 200 stitches. Like, if it's 208 <laughs> stitches, you're still going to get a knit one, purl one out of that. Yes. Out yeah, of that. I agree. And it's because of the short row of shaping in that shawl collar. Yes. And it has been. I can't believe I pulled it off so well. I know. Well, I feel like you're pretty good at that, though. Like, picking up stitch. Like, I'm just not super good at picking up stitch. I don't know. I mean, I can pick up stitches. It's not that I can't. It's just no, like, it's not the motion. It's the numbers. Yes, it's the numbers piece. Yeah. So, um, so many people, like, reached out to me and offered me advice. And um, I tried a lot of things. I had to rip it out a bunch of times. Um, and then Sophia, our friend from the Knitters League, um got got on you know a text chain with me and we worked through the numbers but I believe I messed it up <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how it's okay it's beautiful it's off center and I don't care and that's okay and that's okay it's not super off center like it's you not scoliosis. I could just lean a little bit <laughs> And it would look perfect. It would probably look fine. It would probably compensate for that curve. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. Show us, because it's beautiful. I know. I'm hoping I'm not disappointed with it when it's done. We'll see. Um. So, here, I'll just show you the sweater as a whole. I'm still just plugging along with it. I'm going to try and make up for the fact that it's off. Well, it's the gonna... sweater... Oh my gosh. Thank you. It's going to be hard to see because I do have it on a cord. Like, a cord. If you go over to my Instagram account, you'll see a picture of me. Well, you'll see a bunch of pictures of it. Not Maybe not necessarily. Oh it is so... That fade... We, at the, at the retreat, we put together so many gorgeous fades for people. We really did, yeah. Oh well, my God, that fade is beautiful. Thank you. So from the bottom, it goes worn leather, then antique lace... Then wedding cake, then buttercream frosting. It's so subtle. I love it. I really, really love it. And I love one of my favorite details, and I posted about this on Instagram as well, is the garter faded cuff. This design element, I absolutely. I kind of wish I gartered mine. I mean, you can always go back and do it. I could. I mean, the thing about yours is it, it wasn't a, a fade. You know what I mean? No, mine is not a fade. And I love mine. Yeah. I mean, this design element, I feel like I might do for every sweater going forward just because of the comfort it. level. Um, but we'll see. So that was one of my favorite um, parts of this sweater. And now when you look at the shawl collar, it's been such a roller coaster because it was like, I thought I had it figured out and it was great. And then it wasn't. And then I thought I had this part figured out and it wasn't. And so I'm kind of to the point now where I'm just going to fudge it until it works. Yes. So you can see here, this is my cast on edge. So here's the end of one sleeve. Here's the end of another. So this is where all the short row shaping between those two points is where all the shape, short row shaping should be taking place. No, it does go down. It goes all the way down. But, yes, but does it go down on one side more at one point? And no, because no, the short row shaping goes to, so that it flips back. Right. So that's the problem is right now it's not going, it's not being dispersed evenly. So right now the short row from that last section, the short row shaping stops here before the end of my cast on. But on this side, it goes all the way out to here past my cast it's on. It's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. I just don't know how I did it. You said it. This is so funny. I don't understand what I did. Oh, well, and it's so funny because it's interesting how you would like call it an emotional roller coaster. I think that is so true of so much making, yeah. especially if you're the creator. It's such a roller coaster and it's exhausting until it's right. Mm -hmm. And I think people don't understand that about like an artist's brain, whatever. It's like, it's exhausting when things don't go right. That sounds so like over the top but it really is yeah. it's like oh until things don't until things click mm -hmm. it can be so exhausting and frustrating just like mentally draining because it's like i was so excited about this project and i knit it so 
fast. Fast. And now I literally have come to a screeching halt. I had, you know, for the last couple of weeks. And now I feel like I'm back to where I started and I don't know what to do. Like, do you think I should tear it out and make it so that it's right before I keep going? I want to say no because I don't think you know how to make it right. I don't either. I don't either. Like, if you knew the answer, then I would say yes. But you don't know the answer, nor do I. Maybe someone on here will be, maybe put it down for a few days. Someone on here will be, no, I know the right answer. I don't think they could know that without diving into the whole, what's your stitch count? What's your gauge? How many stitches? And I'm just so sick of having that conversation. I know. I totally agree. It's awful. I know. I mean, the the only other thing I could do is I could rip it back and do... Don't do the short rows. Just have a collar that rolls back. I think you need the short rows for that rolling. But even if it's not like... So what do you think then it would just go flick? So let's use this for an example. Do you think it would just do this? I think as long as I had a certain Mm -hmm. amount of fabric... That it would roll over. It'll still go back. It just won't have that shawl element to it. It could be right. That could be right. Well, will the rest of it... See, the other thing is, though, will it all... Because it comes, like, the short rows, if I'm remembering right, come to about here. Mm -hmm. So that it gives it that lapel look. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that. Even if it doesn't have the lapel look, I don't think I'd be devastated by that. Okay. I think even if it just fell like this, like, see how it just, I mean, it's not obviously the same material or even the same. Right. But even if it just fell down, like, even if it was just, like, back like this. Yeah. And then it just rolled. Like, I don't. I wonder if you looked at just another pattern that didn't do short rows. Huh, I don't know. But that was so I think it's going to drive you crazy. I think it is, too, after all this work. I know. And it's such a beautiful sweater. You don't want to compromise how beautiful it is. This is why I was dreading talking about this project. I know. <laughs> But anyway, yes, sir. I would put it. I would almost put it in timeout. Finish your no frills and then go back to it. Yeah, but I mean, the problem is, I really want to give it to you as a sample for Needles Up Maryland, so that people can see like what a fade looks. I mean, obviously, people know what fades look like, but when you're looking at With that colorway, yeah, just to see how they really do interact with each other. So. I mean, I'm definitely going to stick we with it. We still have a while. That's not till May. Yeah. I would put it in timeout for at least a week because it's driving you crazy. It's just I hate unsolved mysteries. It's just bumming me out. And I feel like I'm just past the point of caring about the, the design element. I know everybody keeps saying to me, the shawl collar is the whole reason you knit the pattern. Like, it's the best part of it. I don't care. I really, <laughs> I'm not somebody that, like... It's not my personality. Like, I don't get that attached to a, an appearance. Like, to me, it's about the project. I don't know. I, I don't care. I don't care about a shawl collar. I just want it to be done. Done. I agree. And looking presentable. Beautiful. Yeah. So, anyway, that's my second project. All right. Well, I can cheer you up. Okay. Because this project has got me wanting to knit all day long. Ooh, let me see. Oh, my goodness. It is the Tegna. Is that what it's called? I think you, I think you pronounce it Tanya. Tanya. The Tanya. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Just stop right there. There you go. Just so people can get an idea. When you're moving it, you couldn't see actually what the stitches looked like. So this is kind of like a feather and fan mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. Kind of, not exactly, but very close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we call it a feather and fan. Oh, I, I am loving it. I told you earlier, like, they suggested putting uh, markers every 20 stitches. And I was like, I, that is not the type of knitter I am. I can usually just see the pattern, and I don't want all those markers. I love my markers. I love them. They have helped me to knit this faster. Mm-hmm. It totally designates the pattern. Mm-hmm. 
right there. It's 20 stitches. It's getting less, I believe. I'm doing some decreasing. This is for you because the Tegna is, be Tegna is beautiful, but I don't think it'd be flattering on me at all, and I want to knit it. Mm -hmm. I want to knit it. You say, hey, I have never seen that colorway before. Is that a new colorway? <laughs> I was just going to say that. So, it is a new colorway that's going as part of the romance collection. I am in love. Mm -hmm. It's called First Kiss. It's blush and a deeper, like, burgundy and a soft pink. It's, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Now, do you have a skein of T for Two with you? Don't think so. Let me look over here. I do feel like some people are going to say, wow, that looks really similar to T for Two, but there are distinct differences, and I think it's going to incorporate into um, a peach or pink toned shade. Yes, really, really T for Two also has brown flecks. Right. Which you can kind of see in the fabric of my sweater. Yes, yes, you can see it. And it's definitely a purplier, mm -hmm. purplier pink than this. But yes, you're right. This is more like peaches and... <gasps> I'm trying to get to the... <laughs> it's so much. Oh my God. I'm li and it's also a little, a little softer. Mm -hmm. A little softer. I am obsessed. It's I so can't did I, did I say it was first kiss? First kiss, yes. <sighs> yeah, the peach is in there, so oh my gosh, how amazing. This would look amazing with so many of our I should have brought them up, I didn't. It's okay. Our neutrals, I believe macaroon it might look really pretty with. Mm. Also peaches and cream, the mohair. I was tempted to put mohair with this, but like you said, it's kind of a summery sweater. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited about it. And, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think it's going to fly once you're done with that lace section, which is not very long. And then it's short sleeves, too. So it's like... It's going to fly. Yeah. It's 47 rows of the lace. Okay. And then I believe I just knit round and round and round for a while and then split for the back and the front. And... <gasps> Oh, I've been wanting to knit it forever. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect with a subtle colorway. Mm -hmm. Like to me, this is a very. I oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Well, and it's we should say I don't know if we've mentioned it's by Boylan Networks. Yes, um, Caitlin Hunter. So if anybody's looking for it. Oh my gosh, I am in love with it. I started it yesterday, last night. You got far for last night. I did. I was hoping to get at least an inch done so you could really see the yarn and how it's playing with the pattern. I love it. So do I. I can't wait for you to be done because selfishly, I want to wear it. I know. I think it's going to be perfect for you. Like a summertime knit. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love the tees. It's not a look that would be super flattering on me, but I love them. Mm hmm and, and again, I wanted this model for um, Needles Up. Yeah. I'm so excited by it. Yeah. So it's excited. Nice. So that's that for knitting. Yeah. Well, I'm done with my knitting stuff. You're done with your knitting. So let's go into stitching. Oh, actually, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I am done with my knitting stuff, but I didn't show you what bag my um, Comfort Fade Cardi was in. And the reason that's important is because Darlene of Awesome Granny has extended a coupon code for all of so you guys. So cute! Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're adorable. So mine is the Woodland Critters, I think, or Camping Critters. It's hysterically cute. I love it. I love it, love it. Um, and so you'll get 15% off if you go and shop in her um, SD4 by using coupon code LEGACY15. I'll put it on the screen here for you guys. Take advantage of it. Her bags are wonderful. These are, we talked about one episode where I kind of um, narrowed down my bag collection and she is one of the makers that I will never ever get rid of there I love her bags and they just are really functional and they are great sizes um, yeah. I'm going to open my so quick set so of because yeah. I want to show it did you already give the coupon code? Mm -hmm. okay. 
What's mine called? Uh, that I have no idea. I can't remember. I can find out for you, though. It's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I have the same polka dots. I love the interior. And I love her um, logo. Well, it's not even the logo, but her catchphrase, respect your knitting. I think it's great. And it also comes with, like, a little key ring here. So if you have, like, your keys, you can just clip it on. Um, it has a really nice carrying handle. It's nice and wide, so it doesn't, like, cut into your wrist as you're carrying it. Um, I have I'm taken my notes because I was saving it, but gosh... This might be what your Tanya goes in. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Um, as you can see, it like sits flat. Like it's sitting flat right now. Let me move my camera down a little bit. That is adorable. Isn't it so cute? And I know she has more of this print in her shop right now. Um, so yeah, it sits, sits flat. So it's great. Like I bring this to the coffee shop on the weekends when I go and have my little mommy timeouts. Um, and I always put it right on the, on the table with me. And it's... I don't know. It's great. I, I really love her bags a lot. There's a nice, um, it's not super firm, so you can roll it too. If you need, if you have another bag, you need to fit it into. Um, it's, I don't have the sweater in the bag right now, obviously. I just have some, <laughs> but, um, it's so cute. Yeah. But she has really fun patterns to choose from. Um, so yeah, she's, she's so generous too with her coupon codes and it's, like it's for very like forever right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, so just put it in there and it'll go un indefinitely, which is so nice. Yeah. So thank you, Darlene, so much for um, offering that coupon code for everybody and for our beautiful bags. We love them and cannot speak highly enough about them. And I just love feel them. like this is so Vermont too. Like little so cute. Colors. Yeah. So anyway, so cute. Keep going okay. now. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. First, I'm going to do is show you two patterns that I got that I haven't started. This one I just ordered, and the pattern you can download. Okay. It's by Kitten Stitcher Shakespeare Peddler Teresa. Look at this sampler. What does that all say? Holy A Savior's God. Praise. Oh. So it's a prayer? Um, yes. Nice. It's so beautiful it's kind of the rage right now in the in the cross stitch world yeah i have i i copy everyone so nicole cedarwork who i've talked about here before i love nicole i love her floss tube it's also some knitting too um if she is a prolific stitcher everything she does i want to do i'm not sure if she's doing this one though as i say that i so i ordered from Teresa. great customer service i sent her notes saying i really want a kit for it because she it's some with anchor floss which is not it's DMC or Anchor, but most stores carry DMC. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to use the Anchor, and I'm doing it on 40-count linen. Tiny. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't know what that means. You do over two, so it's 20-count. Okay. Tiny. I can do it. And so for anybody who doesn't know who Teresa is, is that your local... No, no, no. Teresa is the Shakespeare Peddler Designer... Oh, so the actual designer is selling kits. Yes. Oh. So she is kitten stitcher on floss tube in a lot of areas. And I am besides myself. And I want to start this. It's beautiful. So Yvonne, Yvonne, Vana, Vana Pfeiffer is starting this on Easter Day. Nice. I want to do the same. I want to copy her. Is she doing like a stitch along or anything like that? No, I think she's just decided that this she's going to start this on Easter Day. Fun. So I think I might do the same. Oh, I love it. I mean, the kit comes. Quick look. If you ever saw, I don't even know how I function in this room. There's so much stuff over there right now. It's overwhelming. Anyways, so the next that I bought, now this was totally Nicole made me want this. from, And I got this from, I believe it was the Country Sampler Online. <gasps> it's a kit. That's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with samplers again. Look at this kit. Wow. Look at those colors. So this is a little, this is cha a challenge. Like, and it's not that the stitching is a challenge. It's following the charts, and it's a reproduction sampler. 
Yes, it's a reproduction, which means it might not be, like, all these trees might not be the same, but you assume they are, because they look at, but they could be off one stitch, and it messes everything up. So you have to be very attentive when you do these. So I believe, again, 36 count summer khaki. I haven't even opened it. I'm trying so hard not to. Just so you don't have a million projects going? Yes. My goal is I have Joanna's bag. So I have projects in every bag. Oh. I have one more. I have room for two more projects. I forgot I have a finished object. <laughs> This is what I finished. I'm obsessed. Don't even look back there. I'm obsessed. I finished this. Oh, it's beautiful. Is it beautiful? It's super cute. So I want to, I go between these cute, simple, small projects to these reproduction samplers that that's all I want to buy right now. And I want to fill the entire wall in the little sitting room with the pellet stove. That was going to be my question is, do you have, like, a vision for these pieces while you're buying them? Yes, I do. But I don't know if it's, I have enough years left to make them all. Oh, you do. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. They're bad. Okay, so one more project that I haven't started yet in, in Joanna's bag. I have the one like you have coming this week or soon. I'm not sure when. The tan one? I just buy them. If there's one in your shop, I buy one. Because mm -hmm. it means, it makes, I've talked about this, it's so different than knitting project bags, because look it, they all line up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have another one over there with a Halloween project. Okay, so what I want to do is the animal sacks. Can you lift them up? We can't really tell what you're showing us. Oh, ooh. I put these dots on them so they know when I go in the store that they're mine. Oh, nice. Because I'll forget which are mine and which I'm buying. Cheap heap. I know. Oh. The goat load. Oh, my gosh. So what are you going to do with those? Wait. Snort sack. Oh. I have a fox one that's in that I have to go get. Okay. I also am starting the Christmas tree farm. Ornaments for next year. Didn't you do a couple of those? What's that? Did you do a couple of those already? No, because they just came out. Oh. So this is going on. I went to the store when they got back from the market, mm -hmm. the TNNA um, Nashville market. This is... Oh, this is 28 count. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up. So, want to go here, 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 all the way across, and it's going to go in the kitchen. So, it's gonna, you're going to turn it into a sampler. Yes. Or like a long, narrow, and I believe there's two more. So, that's that. And look it. I totally copied Nicole. I don't know if Nicole watches, but Nicole, are you proud of me? This is my attempt to be a little organized. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Well, I copied her totally. Oh, well, that's okay. Ideas can be shared. That's true. I don't know why this is in there. Huh. Anyways, okay. So that. Then I worked on Little Miss Lilies. I want to finish this so bad. I worked on her Sheep Virtues. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's, it's the sweetest so thing. Beautiful. Mm. So I'm trying to finish, if I sit down with it, I try to finish a block. Wow. You are a very fast stitcher. I am a fast stitcher. Hmm. <laughs> I am a fast stitcher. Well, you are. And you yeah. should be after all these years. I mean, it would yeah. be surprising. It's kind of, I have all the tricks and, you know, it's what I did for a living. Right. So this one I have to finish next. And they all have a cute button to go on them. Oh, my God. <sighs> This is hand, I dyed this, tea coffee dyed, um, Monaco. Not my favorite. I know Priscilla and Chelsea, it's their favorite. It's, when you dye it, it shrinks the holes even more. It's very hard on my fingers. So you personally dyed it? I did. Coffee tea dye. Oh my God. I know. So the next thing I bought is Tulip. Tapestry cross stitch needles, and I love them. 
Wow. When it so went, went, it, they have a gold eye. Okay. I went into the store, into my cross stitch store, and it's like, I want the best needle you have. It makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And I was using just regular needles, and she was like, I've never used these, but I don't know, they're expensive, and I'm like, I want them. <laughs> Pretty expensive, it was probably five dollars for five needles. Right, right, right. Or maybe more. Not a lot, though. So, I purchased those. Okay, the last, last, last. And this has become my obsession. I was obsessing over the sheep virtues until I bought this. <gasps> then it was all over. <gasps> so, again, I got the fabric. It's Heartland, Edinburgh, Edinburgh, 36 count. Hand dyed picture this plus. I love picture this plus fabric. Ooh, oh and yeah. tell us who bought gave us these because I love them. Okay, so it's Kelm Scott Designs. Kelm Scott Designs. Okay. Oh, yes. And her name is Paula. Paula. Okay. And I will oh, put all that, of her yeah. like information in the down bar so you guys can go over and shop because she gave me an elephant needle minder and it's so beautiful. And the scissors. I don't have my notions, of course, with me. But I know. I don't have mine here either. The scissors are adorable. I say that. I can't remember. They're here. Mm -hmm. So anyways, look at this. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I, and again, 36 count, I'm so proud of myself because I went into stitching this time around saying, no, I can only use 28 count, I can't see, and I'm only going to use 28 count, and then I was like, stop, like you're not 100 years old, you can do whatever you want. Right. I am so excited that I made myself try this, I wear my double glasses, I can see just fine. Well, and yeah. at night, I know you purchased yourself one of those really nice lamps. Ot light. I got an ot light, a stand-up ot light that I can put behind me. Mm -hmm. um, my eyes don't even hurt anymore. I feel like I've totally retrained myself. And that could just be a mind over matter. And it might not even be a possibility, but I've done it. Mm -hmm. I am so happy about it. So this beautiful fabric. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. God. I hope I have enough room. Did you yeah. dye that one as well? No. No. These are the ones I bought from Market. I hope I'm going to have a little piece at the end. Oh, right. Okay. I, so I'll show you the whole design. Okay. So it's one strand of floss which I love working with one strand and it's this pattern is a combination of DMC and I think it's mostly weak style works it's really a combination which I really enjoy that combination because mm -hmm. the, the fancy floss gets expensive if you need a lot of it and using one strand it actually saves you a ton of money I think really now but what do the stitches look like um, well, you can see there, Cause the coverage, you can see. Uh, hold it there for just a second before until it focuses. I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh, is it not focusing? Um, no. Darn. Yeah, maybe, that's a little bit better. Yeah, you can see though, it's, maybe, it, I bet it's because it's the smaller fabric. I bet you have never used anything with that small it's small, but it doesn't feel horribly small. I got the pattern. Um, I and I stitched this really fast. So that might be three days of work. Wow. Like, I really put my head down and was like, I'm going to finish this. So my goal is to finish it enough to have all the borders so that when I go to the New Jersey Wool Walk mm -hmm. page, I can get a frame. Or she, not, I won't get a frame, but I'll give her all the measurements, pick it out, and then um, I would love to have it done and leave it with her. That would make me so happy. Here's a chance. So this is the entire pattern. So it's a la -di da pattern. I love la -di da It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I think it's beautiful. Is that, pri what do they call it, primal? Primitive. Primitive. That's primal, right. I like that. I would call this primitive, and it's funny because I go between primitive and whimsical. It, what sold me and what made me have to have this was the tree, the design of the tree. It, it's just such a beautiful design. Yeah, I really like the primitive design 
aesthetic very much I too yeah i love it i want to redo my whole house that way um oh my gosh i am obsessed yeah. i really really am i like i hate that i even pulled this out because now i want to work on it and i have to dye yarn all day oh. and work on your sweater oh. you can it's it. a baby sweater so people may ask like i work with a hoop this is a really nice hoop. It's it's not a um, a hoop that you can get at a big box store. It has a beautiful finish. It's a German made hoop, mm -hmm. and I don't. I wish I knew the name of them. They're my favorite. Is it not on there anywhere? No. I remember when we had our store, we carried them, and oh my gosh, I love them. They they have a. I would say it's a veneer on them, and. They're just so wonderful. This is the perfect size for my hands. I try using Q-snaps, but I also use a sewing method, which makes no sense because the sewing method typically you do in hand, but I loosen this enough that I can do the sewing method using this hoop. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. So do you obsessed. have all those hoops because from when you owned the frame shop? I only have one because one of our dogs ate two. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I think it was. Had to be Oliver. No, that makes even more sense, yes. Yeah. So, anyways, this is my tulip bag. This is the one that came this week. Love it. From Joanna. Oh, my gosh. I will tell you, for me, these... Project bags for cross stitch are a game changer because now I will show you. This is what I look like when I stitch. Actually, so I stitched for like this much amount of time, and I also was very similar to you in that way. Yeah, and I I try to work on the same project for a long time, so I know exactly where these colors go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much anymore. It's okay. I'll throw them out once I get tired of looking at them for too long. There's a method to your madness. I guess. It all comes together. That's the weird part. It all comes together. That's what I mean. Like every, It's like an organized chaos. Yeah. So I should show. So this week we have, well, as of today, we have two new colorways going into our romance collection. Mm -hmm. um, and the second one is called, oh my God, I love this one so much. It's called, I cut it down the name, it's called Tiptoe. Oh, I love it. It started out as Tiptoe Through the Tulips, but that's a crazy long name. I like Tiptoe, I think it's cute. I like Tiptoe better because it could be even you stand on your tiptoes. Yeah. So it's all Tiptoes. Oh my gosh, it's got this beautifully delicious creamy base, which is hard to see. Here, if you, you just put it, in, put it in front of your face. Oh, maybe I'll just move my face. Does that help? Um, no, because it can still see your face. Yeah. I'm trying to get the... Oh, there you go. There you go. You got it. Okay. It's really beautiful. So it's got this beautiful yellow creamy base. Put it these. Well, with some um, pinks and purples and greens and I, it just reminds me of Easter and tulips and... Mm -hmm. And so, of course, Tiptoe Through the Tulips was the song, and there we go. It was a song? Oh, yeah. Tiny Tim, Tiptoe Through the Tulips with the ukulele. Do you not know that? No, I've never heard oh, of that before. Gosh, he was kind of a crazy, ridiculous person. Really? <laughs> He's known for Tiny Tim, long, curly, 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 like curly. Oh. Looks a little like Kenny... Kenny G? G, but... Kenny G was much more handsome. It's ringing a bell. I'll have to look it up. He had a very high-pitched voice. It's definitely ringing a bell right yeah, now. Yeah, I know you've heard it. I know you've heard it. I'm sure I have. So, yeah. So, there we go. The two new colorways for today. I believe there's going to be at least one more in the next couple days. I'm waiting on a yarn delivery. Um, this one... I see Elton, Elton, Elton with the buttercream Frosting. mohair or a um, birds of a feather. <sighs> Could even go with the pop fizzle mohair would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. If you like those bright. Bright. Yeah. So there we go. 
Holy cow! Let's hope this recorded. I know. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Well, they won't know if it didn't. <laughs> I need more coffee. Oh, my goodness. So, anyways, uh, the one last thing is I'm watching Shit's Creek for the third time around. Five. You know what? Oh, my gosh. Even the first ones, because... The more you get to know the characters, the funnier each one is. You laugh more the third time around than you did the first time. I sit in here, mm-hmm. they, oh, we didn't even talk about my brand new kitchen. Oh, yeah. So pretty. I have a new kitchen. Got cabinets resurfaced. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It's white. It's gorgeous. But um, I was literally laughing in here when they were in the kitchen. It gets, like, the first ones that I was like, eh, power through the first ones. Yeah. Hysterical. Well, because you don't really know what you're watching when you're watching it the first time around. It's like you're seeing these characters for the first time. You kind of, I mean, you know what's going on, but you don't appreciate the humor in it because, like you said, you don't know their personalities yet. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's a great show. And I love it because it's really focused all around, like, love and family coming together. I mean, it's inappropriately hilarious at most of the times but oh my gosh it's great david went running out of the house or store or something once and his running was hysterical oh well i can't wait for you to watch this season because he plays baseball i saw a clip of that (laughs) you're gonna absolutely just, I hope they're going to release it quick. The pro- it's still airing, so it's going to be a while. I'm almost willing to pay money. Well, next time you come up here, I have them. So. I wonder if I can watch it on Amazon and pay money. I don't think Amazon has like currently airing shows. Used to have. Oh, oh so maybe then. I don't know. It, it's worth checking. If anywhere you think you can get it, check. I feel like I've done that with, like, Downton Abbey or something. I actually paid, like, per episode. Actually, you saying that, Amazon, I know iTunes sometimes does episode by episode, and you can buy them. And do you get to keep them? Like, do they stay? I think oh, so. I'm going to check that out. I think so, yeah. I'm checking that out. Yeah. All right, we should let people go. I feel like we've been here way too long. I know. But we did it. We did Next it. Time, I'm going to be up to see you in a couple weeks. And hopefully during that time, we will do it together. Yes. Yes. That's that. Well, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us and um, spending some time talking about our making. I hope we've inspired you. I love to be inspired by podcasts. Oh, me too. Me too. I love to be inspired by them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, head on down and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It'll help us gain exposure on YouTube to other makers looking for entertainment while they make. Um, And if you didn't, certainly move along. There are plenty of knitting podcasts. I'm sure we will mention a few of them down in the down bar. Actually, last thing before we do Needles Up, we are running a knit along right now. It is called the Plumpy Along, and it is ending (laughs) Thursday, March 28th. So you still have a couple of weeks to finish up those projects. We are giving away gift cards in both the Chatter and the Final Object thread on Ravelry. So, um, yes, just don't lose sight of that end date so you can get all of your stuff posted. Um, Another knit along I really wanted to mention um, was one that our friend Denise is running. It's called the No Fear socks cal i believe i have that right um denise of earth tones girl she has a great podcast that i'll link below um a really inspiring instagram page that you should really go and follow um and it's perfect for anybody looking to knit socks for the first time i think there's a lot of like um newbie sock knitter support in her thread and a lot of like great direction um and if you're just an obsessive sock knitter it's a perfect way to enter in some stuff to get some prizes. And I believe we contributed prizes for that knit along. So. We did. I can't remember what. Sock kits, maybe. I think sock kits, appropriately enough. Yes, yes. Um, and Denise is a great, she's so supportive of people that are in her knit alongs. So like she really wants everyone in the world to be able to knit socks. Mm-hmm. And she means it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're very satisfying. Like, once you knit your first sock, it's like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. And honestly, when you learn to knit socks, you've also then enabled yourself to knit almost anything. 
Yeah, because and I've said that to Justin too because he only knits socks yeah. exclusively, and he always asks me like, "Could I knit this? Could I knit this?" And I'm like, "Justin, you can knit a sock. You could knit." anything because there's so much you learn within that one sock Mm -hmm. so much you learn that it's it's a great gateway to knitting i've had people that have never knit and i teach them to knit socks first yep yep justin yep is one of them yeah i go back to when he was learning to knit socks and he wouldn't believe anything you said he believed (laughs) everything that you said What's that? But he believed everything that you said. I know. Then you said it to me. I'm like, no, really. That He'd be like, no, right. I don't need to know that, do I? It's like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and he'd be like, okay, never mind. <laughs> yes. So, so oh, yes, my gosh. Head on over and check out that Knit Along. I'll link all of the links for the <clears throat> Knit Along threads and Ravelry and everything down in the down bar. So, yeah. Just didn't want to leave without talking about those two knit alongs because they are yes and i have been following the hashtag on um well i haven't been following it pops up in my feed for the plumpy along and there's some beautiful ones coming out gorgeous absolutely gorgeous yeah i'm super excited i think eventually by eventually i mean either today or tomorrow i'm going to go through the um, finished object thread and the work in progress that and just kind of see um where everybody's at and what they've been making sounds good all right, everybody. Well, again, thank you for hanging out with us. For anybody new, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, yeah, like Mom said, we'll be coming to you probably in a couple of weeks. So until then, enjoy your making. And like we always say, meals up. Meals up. Bye, everybody. Bye.